Hey guys, I'm here with a video. Sorry, I haven't made one in a while. Um, I feel like I say this in every video, but I've been really busy with school and stuff. Um, it's taking up a lot of my time. So, and like my friends and, you know, hanging out with them, being with them. My lessons. Um, hopefully I'm going to be in another horse show. This will be my second horse show um, in March, I believe. Um, it's a MHJA Spring Fling, um, Mississippi Hunter Jumpers Association. For you who didn't know, I am in Mississippi. Um, but yeah, so, uh, hopefully I will be in that, uh, because I don't have my own horse. I ride a horse that my barn owns. Um, so yeah, hopefully not only my barn will let me do it, but my mom will let me do it as well. So, uh, as you guys can see, I've been... Ugh. Okay, sorry, that's my phone. Um, but as you guys can see, I've been working on my barn a little bit. Um, the only two buildings that are old are those two. Those are the only two barns that I've reused. As you can see, I haven't finished painting this one yet, the one that the Arabian made. I haven't finished painting it. Um, I don't know how white paint got up there, but it did. But yeah, so I'm going to finish painting that. Um, and then that's my old like feed and tack barn. Now it's just my feed barn, and it has some dog stuff in it as well. So, um, but I'm still working on it. It's not done. As soon as I'm done, I'll make a tour. Um, but yeah, that's a. Marinfold Barn. I have, I, I still want to get some more schleich, so um, it's going to continue to change. It most likely will not stay like this. Um, there's an unfinished barn. I just have, I don't even know if that's just going to become a barn that's just like temporary right now. Oops. And then my arena, I eventually want to put sand in it. My stallion barn. An unfinished barn uh, over there that's for like the molds that have long strides that wouldn't fit in stalls like that that's gonna be like a tack barn and then yeah and then my two small little pastures <laughs> um, so yeah it'll change so it won't stay like this most likely um, because I have this new thing right here, I'll get into that in a minute, um, I've lost a lot of space in my room for like this area, so I'm kind of having to extend it out more into my room than I usually have it. Um, so yeah. But as you can see, my briars are lined up here. My journeyman. He's, I, he's not new, but I haven't made a video of him yet. Um, but yeah, it's Journeyman. I got him off of eBay for like $60. The lady said he had no scratches that she could see. Should have known better because he had two really bad scratches on his leg and a black mark on his side. So I've changed him into an Irish draught and gave him pinto markings. And then, um... Zenyatta, she's one of my newer models I just got, and then Gigi Valentine and Heartbreaker. Uh, Zenyatta is in really bad condition. She is most definitely not LSQ. Uh, she doesn't really have any scratches. It's more like factory flaws, like seams and stuff like that. Weird mold. Um, Gigi Valentine, from what I can tell, she looks in really good condition. She has one shiny mark and a weird thing on her nose. It's like a little white dot, but it could pass off as a snip. So I guess it's not too bad. And then Heartbreaker. Uh, I have the tail problem, just like everybody else. But mine's different. <laughs> mine's like even worse. Because not only did they not paint the bottom of it, they didn't paint the top either my camera will focus. Okay. 
sorry guys, this isn't like a video camera, it's a photography camera, so it's not really meant for this stuff, but yeah, you can see that without it focusing. So, yeah, that's pain in the butt. Um, so I can try and photoshop him, but his tail will show up, so, yeah. Gigi Valentine and, um, Zanyata, if I show her from this side, she's fine. Um, and this side, she's fine, too. It's just, like, factory flaws that you can't see in pictures. Um, but you could see it at, like, a live show, obviously, so. That, those are my three newest models, and then I've had him for a while, but I just haven't made a video. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, anyway, into this thing. Um, this is, used to be my mom's, um, it's some old bedroom furniture that they've had for years, like, since I was a baby. So it's really old. Uh, but my parents got new bedroom furniture. So they took this out of their bedroom. Um, and I wanted it because of the shelves and the extra storage. Because I barely have any storage in my room. So I just kind of like have stuff laying around. Because I have nowhere to put it. So um, I asked if we could put it in my room. Not only because of the extra storage, but because of the shelves. So because um, I was running out of room for my briars on my bookshelf. So, now I can put my Schleich here, and I have tons of more room for my briars. So, yeah. As you can see, I have two traditionals up here. That's a classic. More traditionals, and then I have all that extra room. Yeah, and then I have two of my special traditionals in here. Ah, to keep them from getting dust on them and stuff. And then this is a trail of painted ponies that I got for my birthday this summer from my nan and papa it's big ben like that's the name of him um so yeah i have a card for him too oh gosh right. uh where is it right here but yeah so i got him, i have him and then my two customs that are crap um, yeah, two crap customs, and then this is a little, um, collectible thing that my mom gave me. Uh, it's a carousel collections, it's like, yeah, and this is actually a limited edition one. Um, there were only 15,000 made, this one is 1,654. And it plays a song. What song does it play? It plays Somewhere in Time. If you guys know that song. Probably don't because this is really, really old. I don't even know that song, but... Yeah. Hold on. I'll set the camera down and play it. Because <laughs> I'm bored and you guys are going to listen to it. If you don't want to listen to it, you can just like fast forward through the video. But yeah. Just like goes up and down like a carousel. It's really slow. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it does. Alright, I'm gonna turn it off. But yeah. So that's that. Um, my two special traditionals that I don't want anything happening to, even though she already has two scratches on her. I don't want to like I don't want her to get dust on her and ruin her even more. Um, yeah, two scratches right there. Um, the reason she's really special to me is because my dad gave me to her. Wait, what? No, my dad gave her to me. Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah. And my dad's like a special person to me. I'm, I'm a daddy's girl. <laughs> but yeah. So, she's really special to me. I don't want anything happening to her. And then this guy is special to me. Um, no one gave me him. I bought him myself. He was like $70 on eBay. No scratches or anything. Um, he does have the flat leg. 
Briar tends to do with this mold. Um, but yeah, Zenyatta has it too. My Zenyatta does anyway. Um, but yeah, he has that flat leg. But the reason he's special to me is because there is only a thousand made, and I have one. So, yeah, it just makes me feel special. He's so cute. I love him. But yeah, so I can photo show him. I just can't live show him uh, because of that flat leg. Oops. Hit the camera. But yeah, so I don't want anything happening to him, so I keep him in here as well. So, yeah, I just put my schleich up on these glass shelves. So, yeah. And then down here, here's my camera bag. Uh, some tack stuff, my X-Acto knife, some tack stuff, glue, um, string, my glue gun. Uh, and here's just some random stuff, I think. Yeah, some charms that my dad buys me for my charm bracelet. Extra knot. This thing is so old, I've had this forever. It's those 20 questions. Oh my gosh. And then calculator, notepad, my tripod. So yeah. That's that. And then like you can pull this out. Pull these two things out so you can let this down without it hanging down and worrying about breaking the hinges so it can just like lay flat so yeah and then just a bunch of drawers that are empty right now but yep that's that um it's really big it takes up a lot of room where i would usually like sit and have my barn and stuff it takes up a lot of room yeah, sorry for all this. <laughs> this is all like storage stuff that I need to put away. But yeah, it's really big. So, yeah, this video is getting really long. This will take forever to upload. But so, yeah, my barn in progress that is not close to being done whatsoever. I still have to work on a lot of details um, and actually finishing my barns. Two of them aren't finished and I still have to make a couple more because I have some horses that don't have stalls yet like her she doesn't have a stall she doesn't have a stall, he doesn't have a stall, but he's going to be in that barn once it's finished um, my Arabian mare is currently staying in that she probably won't stay there yeah, she won't stay there for sure um, I need to make more fencing because I'm still using this stuff and trying to come up with stupid ways to do it so yeah I still have a lot of work to do uh, I still have to find another barn for them so yeah not done <laughs> but it's just temporary so I really like my arena I can't wait till I get sand in there kind of like horse fun forever and stuff um, that she inspired me to do that because it just it looks so cool and so realistic so, um, I have five popsicle sticks glued together, so, yeah, five stacked on top, and then I'm just gonna fill it with sand. I took apart my, my, my briar jump, and I used the two things for the front entrance, and then I'm using that as a gate, and then trotting poles, <laughs> so yeah, but anyway. Sorry if this was really shaky, but, yep, so that's kind of updates in my working barn in progress and my new storage thing, yeah, so, <laughs> oh, and I'm planning on cleaning up my fish tank and putting more fish in there because I haven't had fish in there for like the past five months, so it's just going to be sitting there, so yeah, can't wait to do that, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.